Hi, today I would like to talk about the fault exception in WCF services. So let's get started. Basically, I have a standard boilerplate WCF uh, service here. And uh, what I'm doing is when I come into this method get data, if the value is zero, and I'm just going to throw a fault exception. Please note that this is a fault exception as opposed to just a regular exception. And the reason you would want to do this, it becomes more compliant with SOAP and XML protocols and everything else. So I'm using a constructor where I can give it a reason and the fault code I suggest is some DB issue, for example. So if I just start this and let's see what happens here. Uh, it starts a WCF test client, which uh, I'm sure you're familiar with if you have used uh, WCF. And if you look at my get data, and I can call it now with the value of three, for example, it should not invoke any thing and you just going to get back you wanted three, which is good. So if I change it to zero, it should uh, give me an exception. And it's going to uh, give me this exception and you can see the message here is got nasty problem encountered. If you look in the XML that is being sent for the compliance, you can see the my fault code is here. It's a DB issue and then the fault string is gor nasty problem encountered. And if you want to run this in a console, I can show you an example. So basically I have here a while continuous loop and uh, I'm going to essentially uh, put in a breakpoint here so that we can look at the exception codes, but I'm printing the code name and the message here as well. So let me just start this uh, uh, thing, uh, an instance uh, console app. If I <coughs> just is asking me for input data to send, so <coughs> I'm going to put in a zero. So we can trigger a fault exception. So it should come here and you can see it is printing the DB issue as a fault code name and the message is got nasty problem encountered. So here you can see is the exception, the fault exception. Here is my uh, message. And if I go into the code, you can see the fault code uh, name is DB issue. So there is a way to set up more different things in terms of it's a receiver fault or a sender fault and do uh, more elaborate uh, things with this. But then you have to set up your own uh, instead of just uh, sending a, uh, an exception type here, which I'm doing for simplicity, just a standard one. You can set it up using your own types and get a little bit more elaborate. So thank you for watching this short screencast. If you want to learn more, you can basically go to my website or associates. And if you want to learn about WCF, you can just type in WCF and you can see various uh, WCF resources that I have posted or you can even search for everything that has been set up for in the related things as opposed to just the WCF services. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.